So I, I know you're quite big into metrics and I, I guess, you know, a lot of the people I speak to is, you know, when it, particularly when it comes to marketing, a lot of it's unmeasured and, and it flies and print and a bunch <laughs> of other stuff. Um, you, it seems as though you've got a very sort of measurable, predictable system. Um, yeah. If someone's not got a huge amount of money, and I guess there's probably a lot of people in that position now because they've been closed down. Probably. What are some of the effective marketing strategies that you would always put in first? And you know, just just talk a little bit around that. So if I were if I were a struggling gym owner right now, first thing that I would do is I would get a cash flow injection. And so what I would do is probably pre-sell five to ten people for a year. Um, forward, because then I could get probably you know five to ten thousand dollars of cash up front. All right, with that money, um, I would probably go straight to paid ads. But if I didn't do that, then I would start with organic outreach. And so what you can do there is you can join your local groups of you know local B cave moms and you know fitness fit moms or whatever, right? Um, and you can friend request those people, message them, bring them to a phone call, and then see if you can get them into the facility. That's hundred percent free. It just takes effort. Um, and so in terms of like knowing the metrics behind that, typically, you know, if, uh, on social media, if you, let's say friend request 1500 people, that's 50 people a day, which is usually the limit for most of the platforms. Otherwise they'll think you're spamming. Um, if you get 50 a day, you'll get about 700 of those people to accept your request, which is essentially just like them opting in, right? They've opted into communications with you. Mm -hmm. So you don't go to their outbox, it goes to their inbox. Um, from there, if you were to message all of them, Hey, you know, I'm a gym owner in XYZ area right across the street from you, you know, do you, or do you know anyone? might be interested um, in you know getting in shape or running some crazy promotions right now right so I'm not asking you I'm asking if you know anybody so all of a sudden I'm not really spamming you I'm just asking for help which is a little bit different right so you ask them the first message after that you probably have 25 percent of people who respond uh, to that first message so if you're at 700 let's say you're at 140 of those people so 20 percent uh, respond to that first message so I'm going conservative and then from that 140 who respond you say um, okay uh, we get 30% of those people on the phone. So you get, you know, 42 people on the phone from the 140. And of the 42, you say you close one out of three, right? And so you close whatever that is, 15 people, right? Uh, or 14. And so from there, that, that kind of funnel would take a full month, right? That's a full month of work, probably about one to two hours a day of just responding to messages and whatnot. Um, now, if your price point's right and you're selling $2,500 packages, that's a lot of money, right? And so then you can take that money again, plus the paid and full stuff, and then do a real marketing campaign and do paid ads. That being said, doing the organic outbound method is something that you can always do, um, but it's a four-letter word, which is work. A lot of people don't want to do that. And so the easy button is always paid ads. And the easy button, I'm saying that like somewhat tongue in cheek because it is easy if you know what you're doing, um, but most people don't. And so they're like, well, I ran a boost. I tried the Facebook and the Facebook didn't work. It's like saying, I tried marketing and marketing doesn't work. Of course it does. You're just not good at it. And so, um, you know, we want to have some sort of promotion that we're going to run. We want it to be attractive. We typically run almost exclusively free offers. Uh, and we do that because we split test free versus non-free. So something that doesn't have a free in the headline or anywhere on the copy or the page versus something that is free. We'll typically give about four times as many leads for a free offer compared to a non-free offer. And the close rate's the same. We've run this test four times. So with like 20 plus locations. So I feel fairly confident in saying, Free versus non-free, you get the same types of prospects. Right? You, Which, but you mentioned earlier about trying not to do free trials. When, is, right. So there's 11 different ways that you can make money off of free. Okay. So you can do you can do free with commitment. You can do free free, and then you're monetizing through supplements. You can do free, uh, and free could be like you're putting a deposit down, uh, and if you hit a goal, you get your money back. You can do free where you say, hey. The free thing that you sign up for is, you know, one times a week, but you really should do three times a week. Mm -hmm. And this is also going to come with a guarantee and we'll do this extra group and we'll meet up with you and we're stacking the value. And then it's like, okay, well, I'll do that option, which is paid. So there's a lot of different right. ways that you can kind of structure the offer so that you can monetize the front end. Um, you can do free, like pick your price, which is like you can do free, but if you do 99, we'll, we'll do this extra. If you do 299, we'll do this and this extra. If you do 499, but it's still pick your price. So from a compliance standpoint, someone can pick free, mm -hmm. but that's where salesmanship comes into it, where you can add guarantees, you can add additional services to get them to upsell into something else. And so that's also one of the things that we have to typically break beliefs about with, you know, a, a, a small business owner um, is understanding how to advertise, mm -hmm. right? And so if we're saying, you know, if you go to, if <laughs> a lot of people have like a lot of limiting beliefs, but like if you go to, uh, if you go to get dinner and they ask you if you want dessert, it's not like, I mean, it's an upsell. Right. If you if you go to you go to rent a car, they're going to ask you if you want to fill the tank up. 
They're going to ask you if you want to upgrade your package. They're going to ask you if you want the minimum insurance package, which by the way, you don't need. It's called minimum because everyone just says yes. Um, so they're all upsells. Uh, so it's, it's this process that a lot of them don't have a choreograph sales process so that you can take a prospect and know through a three-step sale that we're going to make X amount on the first transaction for service. We're going to sell them supplements on the second day they come in for, for a nutrition orientation of some sort. And then usually at day 14, we'll try and pre-sell some sort of larger package. And one out of five uh, will prepay that package, which will usually be a twenty, you know, two to three thousand dollars sale. Mm-hmm. And so, if I can get you know one out of five people to buy three thousand dollars, then I add six hundred dollars to every one of the values of each of the other for you know five sales. Mm-hmm. And so that's where like the metrics of understanding like the entire acquisition process end end works. But most guys will just boost a post with something that says, "Hey, you should sign up at our gym," and then it goes to not even a landing page and says, "Text us at this number." So a lot of them don't have like, okay, well, how do I how do I make ads? How do I make headlines? How do I mm-hmm. make pages that are going to load quickly and just conversion rate optimization, that kind of stuff? Um, I won't get into that, but <laughs> but yeah. So if I were at, at ground zero, I would run a paid and full play, number one. Number two, I would do organic outreach and then sell high ticket packages selling to goal. And then number three, I would take that money and then I would run uh, a big promotion where I would have a really sexy offer uh, that people would want to sign up for. That is what I would do for an unbranded, undifferentiated independent operator who's in fitness and weight loss. Mm. <laughs>